All right, so it looks like we have a wannabe Walmart race soldier who is allegedly profiling a black customer at a Walmart in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And apparently it's it's in Sage Hill, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. This video is on YouTube, so I'm going to react to this video. I'm just basically reading the title and some of the comments. Um, the person that recorded the video is allegedly black. I'm saying allegedly because I don't haven't seen the video yet, so I'm going to say allegedly until I see proof that he is black. But the behavior of a wannabe suspected race soldier, I'm pretty sure is apparent because their erratic right slave master mentality or slave catcher mentality i should say because that's the origin of so-called law enforcement um is apparent all right so i'm gonna uh react to the video entitled walmart employee racially profiles black man walmart sage hill calgary alberta all right so i'm gonna watch the video and give you guys my real-time thoughts and post commentary before I start on that, let me reintroduce myself once again. My name is Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist. On this channel, I talk about counter-racism. I also talk about issues that affect black people collectively as a group. And I offer my suggestions on how to replace this broken system of injustice, this broken system of racism, which is white supremacy, with a system of justice. So if you are new and you agree to that ideology, please subscribe to this channel. If you don't agree, go ahead and subscribe anyway, because I need two things, my view counts and my subscribers to go up. So my message can be widespread about replacing this broken system with a system of justice. So if you want to hate, watch, and troll, be my guest, because at the end of the day, those types of people are view counts and statistics. All right, so enough with the promo family. Um, like I said, the video is entitled Walmart Employee Racially Profiles Black Man. All right, I have not seen if this guy is a black man or not. All right, but I can imagine he is black being followed around. And we've seen it thousands of times before um, with the security <laughs> with the security folks and, and everything else racially profiling uh, black customers around stuff like that. So let's get right into the video family. Give you guys my real time thoughts and post commentary. So let's get it going. You can't take my picture. That's against policy. No, it's not. It's illegal. Why are you following me? Why are you following me? Stop following me. I'm gonna ask you nicely. Stop following me. You serious? Why the fuck? Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> First of all, why is this? Why is this person? This goddamn troglodyte. Why is she following this guy around so closely? She's so proud to wear. I don't even know what that's a guy or a girl. I'm going to say it. Because that is an unattractive human being. I would say that. Um, <laughs> why, why is this person following him so closely? He has a camera out and you're still following him. With that whack ass security jacket on. Looking like Paul Blart. The mall. The wannabe goddamn mall cop. Yeah, that's crazy. Let me finish playing the video. This is real, bro. I live in Canada. This is real. Like, if why that, are you if that why guy's are you black, you're pretending you're gonna buy headphones. How many folks are black that live in Canada? Else is gonna steal something. Stop following. Me. <laughs> wow. You're gonna make me not want to shop here. Move around. I'm a customer. I come here. I buy stuff. Stop following me. This is who you guys hired? This is who you guys hired? I obviously see it says security. Why would I steal it? Why are you following? Do you have backup to call Quit or following. something? 
Jill, come get your security. Shut up. This is your store. My store. Yo, I'm a customer. You should give me some customer service. All right? If you want, go look at your cameras and watch me. Don't yell in Move store. around. Sir, don't yell in the store. You should move around and let me shop. Don't yell in the store, please, sir. You should move around and let me shop. You're making me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that. Don't yell in the store. Why'd you, come, why'd you tell me I have to pay for these headphones over there in electronics? How do you know if I'm not shopping for more things? Why are you following me? Store, I don't have to not yell. I'm talking to you. I'm letting everybody know. You're following me. Leave me alone. Yep, still following him. You see this? <laughs> Holy crap. How am I supposed to shop with this lady on my back? Is this shit real? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, man. yo where's your manager? Come get this lady. Okay, he's where's black. I saw his hands. I need a manager. Get me a manager. What's the policy? I can't record? You almost grabbed my phone a second ago. You don't know what's going on. Yo, you're going to lose your job if you don't stop following me. Stop following me. You're going to go live, eh? Oh. You're on Facebook right now. Yo. Hey. Where's the manager? Come get this lady. Why is she following me? I'm buying headphones. She's standing there pretending like she's gonna buy headphones, right? I start walking away, then she's telling me I have to pay for these any electronics. What if I'm shopping for more things? You right? following her around for them cheap ass headphones? In the first place. Makes me feel uncomfortable. Why can't I shop for more things? You know what I mean? Like, quit following me. Let me shop. Let me do me. Can you grab her? You can shop. Alright. Thank you. Don't follow me. Do not follow me. Do not follow me. I warned you. No, I have to. It's for my safety. What? Thank you. Yeah, you're going live. I'm taking this to the board. I'm taking this to higher people. I told you to stop following. I told you. You just see a black person who were judged and you feel some type of way. Don't ever judge nobody. Don't ever no- judge nobody. Thank you. Thank you. You made me feel so uncomfortable. I, I live in Canada. I've never expected some shit like that. Never. Yeah, I live in Canada. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, first of all, it kind it was started off funny, then it got serious to me when the lady just kept following him, following him, following him. Um, the lady, man, whatever. She, she's an ugly person. I mean, just physically, she just is, it is extremely unattractive. But, um, yeah, this is a classic case of extreme racial profiling. This is why it's so imperative to shop and patronize black owned businesses. Okay. At the same time, we got to be smart. We can't, oh, boycott Walmart. Slow your roll. We can't boycott something until we have something to replace Walmart with. All right? Which is why you need to invest in small mom and pop black owned businesses, right? That have some of the stuff to sell in the, in their stores that are comparable to Walmart. We're not all the way, we're not even close to having a black owned uh, Walmart equivalent. We're nowhere near that, but we have small black owned businesses that you need to support. Now this guy's in Canada. I don't know nothing about no Calgary, Canada. I don't know how many black people, I didn't even know there was black people in, in, in Calgary. I know Toronto, because Toronto got a whole bunch of uh, Caribbean folks, but Calgary, that's, I don't know nothing about <laughs> that, but it's imperative to patronize and support black owned businesses. All right. So you want to experience, especially if you have, if you are in a predominantly white area and you're going to have these wannabe fake ass race soldiers around, you know, Walmart pretending that they're actually real race soldiers 
and racially profiling and all that stuff. So this is a person, obviously, who is miserable. That that damn Neanderthal wannabe race soldier is miserable with its life and was reduced down to a wannabe mall cop race soldier job at Walmart talking about don't raise your voice in my store. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, like I said, support black owned businesses. Hopefully like the brother said in the video that he takes this up to corporate, he gets a lawsuit and he gets a settlement out of this, um, et cetera, et cetera. That person, that goddamn Neanderthug wannabe race soldier, troglodyte, needs to be fired ASAP. I want to see change.org petitions as well um, for that incident in Calgary. Um, and, and, and that's my opinion on that family. So, like I said, hopefully he takes it to corporate, gets a lawsuit, and gets some money for it. And that goddamn Neanderthug wannabe race soldier needs to be fired ASAP straight up and support black businesses all right those are my thoughts on that family leave your comments down below about this incident and um also let me know if if you've been to a predominantly white now like i said i live in a predominantly black city so when i go into a walmart i'm gonna see a lot of black employees there all right i'm gonna see people like me but when you go to a white area it's different so let me know if you experience any kind of racial profiling um, overt racial profiling at these kind of stores and leave your comments down below. I like to, I like to read about that and, and uh, share your stories on that in the comment section. All right, family until next time, make sure you like comment and subscribe Chauncey, AKA the black separatist signing out. Peace.